Hello and welcome to my STEM project in the moonlight. I use watercolor paper. It is a watercolor paper which I bought in a shop named Action in Germany. It is a strong quality, but not the best, I must say. The blue color is distress oxide color, which I picked off the glass plate earlier. And I want to use the color and don't want to waste it. But you can also use normal white watercolor paper. I mean, um, it is not necessary to print it uh, blue. I used a handmade stencil here and now I color the moon with yellow distress oxide ink. You can see which color it is. Later I will use other colors. You can see which color I use in the video. I made the template with I mean the, the stencil with cardboard and a circle punch. It is not difficult. You can use what you have and perhaps you have a stencil which is perfect for this and you must not make your own stencil but for in my case I made my stencil on my own. Now I use the opposite of my um, stencil, the other piece, and I can put it over the moon. Of course I kept that too, because you sometimes you need both. I now take the yellow distress oxide paint and um, yes, and I, uh, it is the ink and I paint around the circle with my brush. I tore my copy paper to fit so that I could create a landscape in the background with my copy paper and of course with my brush and my paint. And when I'm finished with that, I want to go on with stamping. I want to use a stamp set from the company Katzelcraft. I must say I don't have a full set, but I'll use now a small part that I have. I'll take the I'll take the stack and the deer, and I'll stamp them with Versafine Black Onyx, 
And first I made a small test print on my copy paper. If I had acetate, I could make the test stamp on it and find in a better way the, low, um, the, the place uh, where I could place my stamp. But um, yeah, I use now what I have and so I do my best with my copy paper. I take my palette, which I bought to load with lots of different Distress Oxide re um, reinkers, but I only take very little of a reinker because they are highly concentrated. You only need a little and you have to be very careful. It is better to first mix the paint on an acrylic block or in the palette with plenty of water and then apply it on the paper. And here I made a mistake. I accidentally picked the wrong brush. This is the shimmer pen and actually not a water tank brush. I was already wondering why it is glittering and um, shimmering so much um, but right now has the cool effect that the colored area shimmers very nicely. I then thought to myself great now you've colored your color your paint with glitter right away not bad happy little accident <laughs>
these are um, gel crayons, um, something like gelatos. I can't remember where I bought them. I want to, to uh, I want to take now the neon color in yellow. These colors can be mixed very well with water. Um, previously, I had used a gel pen from Sakura in white, but to better reflect the moonlight, I wanted to brush this yellow neon color on top. That's why I put some of this color on the backs of the deer and um, the other animals and it shouldn't appear too white. At this point I hesitated for a long time. I actually wanted to use a very liquid gesso that you can buy from Action to lighten this area and you can use it to brighten colors very well if the colors have become too dark. Here I don't like that the stamp impression is so dark. When I remembered I have Picket Fans ink and later I also use a Teclin Distress Oxide ink to lighten the moon.
I used the shimmer pen on the animal's backs and it gives a great shimmer effect. I hope you can see it. That looks very pretty with it. I really like the landscape. Actually, I wanted to continue working here and let twigs reach in from above and trees from the side, but I hadn't found the right one. I just didn't like it. I leave it as it is. If I use it later in an album, I can always decorate it further, but for, de for today it is enough. Thank you for visiting my channel. It was a great pleasure for me to present this to you. I hope it gave you an inspiration. Stay creative, have fun crafting. If you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to my channel. I'm also happy about a comment. The crafter's heart is always happy about a few words from crafters. Thank you very much for your interest. See you soon. Bye for now.